Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we're doing a special charity cleaning for a family in need. The homeowner has been bedridden for years, and her son is her only caretaker. The son greets us with a weary smile. Hey guys, thanks so much for coming. My mom has been sick for 10 years, and I've been taking care of her on my own. Between work and looking after her, there's no time left to clean. I ask about his wife. He laughs awkwardly. No wife, never had the chance to settle down. I'm shocked. Wow, 10 years of this? You've been doing this all on your own? He nods and then says something that hit us hard. I don't fear death. What I'm afraid of is leaving my mom behind with no one to take care of her. That one sentence brought tears to my eyes. His dedication to his mother, through thick and thin, makes him a real man in my book. Taking care of her for 10 years, without a single complaint, how many of us could do that? As we started cleaning, his mother, lying in bed, gave us a weak smile and a thumbs up. You could tell she was thankful, even from her silence. The kitchen was a battlefield. Grease thick enough to carve out with a spoon, food remnants stuck to the stove. We sprayed on our heavy-duty grease remover, and the dirt began to melt away, slowly but surely. The sun had been cooking here for years, surrounded by grime and clutter just to make sure his mom had something to eat. The oil-stained cabinets, 
the food particles stuck on the stove. It all told the story of his daily struggles. We tackled every inch, from the stove to the extractor fan. As the grease dripped down, it felt like we were cleaning away years of hardship. And this wasn't just about oil and dirt, it was about love. The kind of love that a son has for his mother. He could have put her in a care home, but he told us. If I had done that, she probably wouldn't have made it this long. We moved through the house, cleaning, wiping, and scrubbing, while his mother lay there watching, still with that same grateful look on her face. The son told us his mom's monthly medical bills are over a thousand yuan. Working nights and caring for her during the day, he barely has time to sleep. I asked him, How have you kept going all these years? He just smiled and said, A car in the driveway doesn't mean you've made it. Having your mom by your side, that's real wealth. As we tackled the kitchen, I thought about how much he had endured. The extractor fan was so caked with grease, it could have been a relic from another century. The grime just kept coming off, layer by layer. The stove was a mess of old food scraps, but we got it shining again. I could imagine the sun breathing a little easier, knowing his mother's meals would be cooked in a clean, safe space. And it made me think, how many of us keep our homes spotless for our loved ones? If you haven't cleaned up your kitchen in a while, take this as a sign. Get out that degreaser and get to work. So everyone, if your home's in need of a good cleaning, or if you want to do something special for your parents, start with the kitchen. Show your love with a clean space. Looking around, I realize that this house, though small and worn, is full of love. Sure, there were cockroaches hiding in the corners, and piles of clutter, but this man hasn't abandoned his mother. He's doing everything he can to make sure she's safe and cared for. You may wonder why he hasn't sent her to a care home. But when he said that if she were in one, she wouldn't have survived this long. It really made me stop and think. 
Can you understand that? That's love beyond words. In the end, we gave this place a good scrub, turning it back into a home. 
Hopefully, the clean environment will bring a bit of warmth to their lives. Watching the son's gratitude as he saw the clean floors, the spotless kitchen, and the tidy rooms, it was worth every bit of effort.
Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more stories like this. We'll see you in the next one.